This was the vehicle involved in a deadly road accident in Ningbo, an eastern Chinese city, in December 2003. A female student was killed after being struck by businessman Gui Minhai. Before this, he had attended a dinner party. The alcohol testing report of Gui Minhai showed the alcohol level in his blood was 1.14 mg per millimeter. We know 0.2 indicates driving under the influence, and 0.8 refers to drunk driving. So the testing result shows he was definitely drunk while driving at that time. After months of investigation and trial, a Ningbo court convicted Gui in August 2004 and sentenced him to two years in jail with a two-year reprieve. But just three months later, Gui fled overseas. He was then listed among the fugitives chased by China's public security organ, but wasn't arrested until he turned himself in last October. Gui said he regretted this decision as it kept him in depression and bore his family years of pain. I'm a fugitive. I could not go back to my country to see my parents. They were already in their 80s. My mother is seriously ill now. That really pains me. I want to see her while she's still alive. That's why I decided to return and turn myself in. I'm willing to take my responsibility and accept any punishment. A foreign passport holder, Gui also requests for his choice to be respected. Going back to my country and turning myself in was voluntary, and this was not related to others. I don't want any individual organizations, including the Swedish government, to get involved or intervene in this matter. Though I hold Swedish passport, I still feel I'm a Chinese, and my roots are still in China. I hope my choice can be respected by the Swedish government. I hope that my right to make a choice and my privacy can both be respected. And let me face up to this issue. Police say Gui is under investigation as he is also suspected for other crimes. Xiao Yang, CCTV.